Good morning friends, it is Saturday morning and I have another day to be thankful for, for God to wake, they woke me up, for making me to work in time, for this beautiful weather, the wind is blowing, it was slowly raining on my way here to work. But it's another chance to do it right. So this morning I woke up to all my lights in the house were on. For the ones that don't know, I have a 17 year old autistic child that um, quit talking to us a few months ago. It's like the older he gets, his autism is getting worse. And this morning I woke up mad, I guess you would say. I was so frustrated because I knew my power bill was going to be high for the, all the lights being on all night. and I couldn't sleep because even though the door was closed, the light was shining through around the door. So I woke up and really determined to just give him a piece of my mind. Well, I go there in his room and I say, Daniel, you cannot leave all the lights on. So through a non-verbal communication, I guess you call it, he pulled my sleeve and took me into the bathroom and showed me a little hole in the ceiling about the shower. And I said, was it a bug? Was it a spider? Was it a mouse even? He, he shook his head no. And then we have a pet snake. So he took me all the way to the snake um, aquarium and pointed to the snake. And I said, was it a snake? He shook his head yes. That kind of frightened me a little bit. But... It also taught me a lesson that many times all we see is, I guess, the thing that bother us, things that we think should be a certain way, when in truth, God is trying to protect us from things. It's a reason why he left the lights on, Daniel left the lights on because he thought in his mind, and it might be true, I'm not sure, but if the uh, snakes is the lights, the brighter the lights, the less likely it is that he will come out of that little hole and attack him again or any of us. So in a way, he was trying to protect himself and us from the sna little snake that he saw. So I guess many times God is protecting us from things, even if, when we don't understand it, even when we get mad, we get mad at God a lot, I know I do, because we expect things to go a certain way, we expect everything to be done this way, the way that we think it should be done, and we don't take into account the fact that God knows best. So friend, remember today, just remind yourself when you see everything go out of control, when your life is just turned upside down, just thank God for it because he is in control. He knows what he's doing, even if you don't. And there are many, many times, most times that we don't. So just trust God that he knows what's best for you. So friend, I hope you have a blessed day today. I'm sorry about the darkness, but it's just getting darker and darker. And I usually record my videos in the parking lot at work right before I go in. So the wind is blowing. That's why I keep looking. It's blowing, but God's still in control. So just remember that even when you don't understand God is protecting you he's fighting your battles he's trying to keep the snakes away from
from you in a way so next time you try to get mad or upset about the situation or about the way some things are just trust God because he has your best interest at heart so I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you next time bye bye